On Solitude, from Growing Without Schooling 111. Susanna Sheffer, the editor of GWS, wrote in her introduction to this long article focusing on the topic of solitude. We spend a lot of time in homeschooling publications showing how homeschoolers have opportunities to interact with others, and of course that's important. But these young people make such a strong case for the value of solitude that I think we should consider this a wonderful advantage of homeschooling, something to describe proudly rather than with any sense of embarrassment. Yes, it's true that most school students don't spend as much time alone as these homeschoolers do, but I think the homeschoolers would phrase it as, the school kids don't get to spend as much time alone as I do. In this issue, They talk about how much they'd miss solitude if they didn't get it. They talk about what a beneficial effect it has on their relationships with others and how it gives them renewed energy for group activities. So, the value of solitude is part of the answer to the socialization question, a part worth stressing in any conversation or even in our own reflections. Here are three short letters from this Growing Without Schooling Focus feature. Helps her make decisions. From Anna Edmondson in Maine. I really like to get time alone every day. It used to be harder for me to get it because I shared a room with my sister. But now she has her own room and I can pretty much get time alone whenever I want. Even before that though, I could spend time alone in our yard. I think my family understands and respects my need for time alone. I think we all like to have that time. I would get pretty frantic if I didn't have it. When I'm alone, I like to read, write, and just think about problems or just about what happened during the day, or even to spend time not really thinking about anything. Being alone helps me organize my thoughts, especially when I have a big decision to make. For example, once I was given parts in two different plays, both of which I wanted to do. The rehearsals conflicted, so I had to choose one, and it was important to me to have time alone to figure out which one I wanted to do more. Having time to myself also makes me more ready to face other people. That might sound funny, but it's true. I took ballet for years, and I was the only homeschooler in a small class. I had known the other students for years, but sometimes I still felt like the odd one out, and it was sometimes a hard situation. Having time alone let me find myself so that I wasn't trying to be somebody else. How and why I'm feeling the way I am from Jenny Boas, Florida. I like to spend time alone in my room. I have a wonderful room with a loft where I can go and not hear any noise at all. When I am by myself, I like to read, watch TV, draw, listen to music, or just rest and think about things. Being alone for a few hours during the day helps me to relax, and if I am feeling upset about something, being alone helps me to understand how and why I'm feeling the way I am. I think that, for me at least, Being by myself for a while every day is very important. Some people in my family don't understand why I would need to be alone, and they come into my room when the door is closed. This really annoys me, because when I need to be alone, I need to be alone. Taking a break from other people. From Alex Huffman, Colorado. I think it's important for me to have time alone. I get to think about things like what I can do if I'm bored, or I think about things from the past that I really care about. Sometimes I go into my own fantasies, and that helps a lot. For example, during my time alone, I've been able to get ideas for designs of boats and airplanes. I like to create a design and then create a little miniature story that goes with it. That's what I mean by going into my own fantasies. And I also like to take time to not worry about anything else around me for about 15 or 20 minutes. Just time to get away in my mind. I manage to take time alone every day, just about any chance I get. It can vary from taking a bike ride to going to my room. When there are are a lot of other people around, it's especially important to me to get some time to myself. If, let's say, all my older sisters and their kids come for a visit, I would eventually get stressed out if I didn't have some time to myself. So I go into my room and lock the door. I think other people understand this. My sisters sometimes need time alone too. When I get stressed out, I get grumpy. But if I take some time in my room, I come out feeling more refreshed and ready to handle more things. 
I often have very chaotic days with a lot going on, so having time alone is very, very valuable. In fact, I think that if I didn't have some time alone just about every day, I would go out of my mind.